So today I'm here with Councilman Tom Labanja of the 4th District of Los Angeles. Uh, welcome, Mr. Labanja, and thank you for your time. We know you have a very busy schedule. It's all right. It's always good to help uh, Knights. Great history at Notre Dame. Beautiful high school and uh, a lot of dedication. Great teachers there. So wish you all well at Notre Dame. When I was preparing for this interview, I noticed that you were a graduate of the local John Marshall High School, and then you also went to the Cal State LA. And so how would you say that going to these two schools has uh, shaped your um, view of politics and what you want to do for Los Angeles? Well, no, the most important thing that shaped me is my family, which I came from. I came from a large family. There was always a, a lot of good values that our parents still out of seven brothers. Uh, nobody went to Notre Dame, but two went to Loyola, okay. and the rest went to Marshall because we didn't have the grades to get into Loyola. But that's another story. Probably wouldn't have the grades to get into Notre Dame. We have a, an opportunity to do things, and I have a love of the city. I wanted to be a teacher originally, but in the mid-1970s when I finished college, there were no teaching jobs. There were more teachers than there were students, so that was in a period of time that I couldn't teach, but I wanted to continue to serve in some way, and I started working for the city of Los Angeles. So did you think that you would wind up as a councilman, or did that just sort of No, I just happen? think if you work hard, anything happens. I mean, if anyone wants to get into politics, don't worry about getting elected, worry about helping people. Then if an opportunity opens up and you've helped people, they will help you get elected. So the focus should be on just constantly helping people, because you don't know what your role in life is or how often you're going to be able to put a position to help people, but if you constantly help people, then one day maybe that you need help to get elected, people will step up for you because they'll remember that, that guy helped me. Mm -hmm. That's great advice. So um, I recently read an article in the Los Angeles Times that said this was one of the hardest years ever for teens to find summer jobs or regular jobs, not, not to mention regular adults, but the LA Times stated that it, unemployment for 16 to 19 year olds hovered at 26 percent. Um, so what does the Los Angeles City Council, what can it do or what has it been doing to help specifically teens find jobs? There's a program that we have in our community development department that reaches out to teens. But there's also a caveat that they, there's a qualifier to the uh, circumstances in which that person may come in, what is their economic status. Uh, that depends on what they are. What I would say to any young person now, and it's tough to say, you've got to work for nothing. you got to go volunteer someplace. you got to go do something for free. You go to the local park and say, I just want to help out. The, the, the uh, more you give of yourself, the more will come back to you. And you don't know what opportunity exists there. Put yourself in a position to uh, experience an, 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 an event or a program, and then an opportunity may open up. But at this particular time, our country is in great transition, as well as the world economies, where the jobs are, technology, manufacturing, all these things are changing, and you're caught in the wedge. Yeah. Does the city offer, like, unpaid internships? My office or, does. It you does. Know, so, and other elected offices do, just say you want to come in and help out. And, and, but the key is that you say, you're going to come in on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to come from 3 to 6, just be there from 3 to 6. And hopefully you work in an office where they uh, allow you to see other things that you won't see. And that's a very important value. So a, a current trend right now among high school students and college students and almost all the young, uh, young people is going green. And so students are doing everything from buying the eco-friendly reusable water bottles. Right. Uh, some are cleaning beaches. And they're just doing a variety of activities for the environment. Now, what has the city of Los Angeles been doing to help um, and to keep its part up of protecting the environment? Well, there's a variety of methods that we've approved on a, what, a, what would be a, a macro uh, mm -hmm. area. Individually, though, everybody could help out yeah. by never littering, by cleaning their street, by making sure they recycle, by use their choices, meaning that they do buy a plastic bottle, that they do uh, recycle that bottle, uh, whatever it is. Uh, so there's a variety of choices. Try to eat healthy, exercise, uh, get to know your neighborhood by walking around and being involved and engaged. Uh, but right now, those are the things you have to look for. Uh, it's not a situation where it's the perfect time. But, but we're living 
you know, and you're going to live through a different time than I lived through. I went to high school in the late 60s, early 70s, and it was a different time. And so you have to adapt to that, but put yourself in a position where you can do volunteer. Something will happen. You never know what's behind the door unless you walk through it and say, I want to help out. And I would suggest that to young people. Something I noticed is that there's been a decline in like recycling centers in like the local neighborhoods. Is there uh, any reason for that? Or well, you think like the ones that are at the supermarkets? Yeah. Yeah. But some of them have caused problems. Not because of recycling, but because of uh, uh, a lot of trash and debris has collected around there. And then also the price of some of the recycling goods have gone down. But the city is, why we recycle is to change the diversion of trash from going into landfills to going to be reused. Reuse, recycle. It's very key in all the uh, aspects of our lives here. And the same thing with water, to use water precious. Water is a great value. Right, there are a lot of teens out there who can't really afford to have a car to drive around LA. And it's a really wide city and very laid out, so it's hard to get from one place to another unless you have a mode of transportation. And another issue that a lot of uh, teens have had is that the public transportation in Los Angeles is, well, pretty bad, they tell me. So, is have you there ever been any? on it? I have. Yeah, so you think it's bad? I've been on, I've taken the subway from Universal down to, down to here. How was that? I had to wait about half an hour for a train to come. What time of day was it? Evening. So Evening. six Late? o'clock. Oh, really? Yeah. So peak just after rush hour. Yeah. Uh, full half hour wait? Mm, between 20 minutes and half an hour, but it was that just definitely standing there. Right. Okay. So what can, what has the city been doing to improve public transportation? Well, the uh, mayor has led the way, on the, but it's going to take time to build. Anything that we do takes time to build. But if you live in the valley, let's say you go to uh, uh, Notre Dame High School, yeah. you know, ride your bike. Be careful, but ride your bike. Uh, you know, yeah. I rode my bike when I was in high school, then it's not as popular. Now it's coming back. Just be aware of your space, the cars that are behind you coming at you, or the doors of the cars that are on the parking curb. Be aware of the space. Try to take a side street, get off the big street. You know, go down Moore Park, don't go down Ventura Boulevard if you can. Use some alternatives like that. But that's one thing you personally could do to try to be more mobile. All right. Um, so I have noticed, actually, a rise of bicyclists um, driving to school, to right. from school, also just driving around the city. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them complain that either there's no bike lanes or the, like, the sidewalks aren't um, wide enough for bicyclists, and they're forced to share with the road, share with the cars on the road, which, and they aren't exact, they don't feel very comfortable right. doing that. Is there like any plans to add sidewalks or bike lanes or things to make the bicyclists feel safer? Well, yeah. Always, you have to be aware of your circumstances around you. The car in front of you, they're going to cut you out, they're not seeing you. Uh, so you always got to be aware of But just because you're in a, a lane doesn't mean you're totally safe. Because the driver's got to be aware. There's got to be a campaign, which there is one, to share the road, to be aware of what's going on uh, in the in the traffic lanes, to take alternate streets other than the main street, but a side street. It may take you two extra minutes, but it's, it's through a neighborhood as opposed to going down Victory Boulevard with uh, three lanes of traffic in each direction. Also, as more people ride bikes, they will be more of a mass, and, and the driving patterns will change that of which uh, the motors are in, which will help and benefit Los Angeles. All right, well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for today, but uh, thank you for being here today, and um, I appreciate it. Hey, thank, thank you. you, and I'm sorry my desk is a little messy, but it's all good. We're okay. Give me a five, huh? Yeah. All right, good luck. Oh, there we go. Lock it. That's what my son said. <laughs>